most disciplines uh, studied at university, I think, seek to make the most accurate, most precise pictures we can make of the world as it is. Uh, the study of literature and of the humanities more generally is perhaps unique in that it not only seeks to give us pictures of the world as it is, but also the picture, pictures of the world as it isn't, as it's not yet or as it might be. Uh, and in doing so, the study of literature involves us in an encounter with the future, I think, a very open um, and inviting encounter with the future. Textual practice as a journal has been extremely influential in helping us to understand what's at stake in literary thinking over the last 30 years. I think we're in a moment of deep transition uh, in our understanding of this question. Uh, so in asking 30 writers to think about the future of literary thinking, we might help to shape some of the forms in which we'll think about it in the future. I wanted to invite a range of novelists, poets, philosophers, theorists, journalists. But within that category, I wanted to choose writers who have focused and reflected most openly about the process of writing itself, how writing thinks. Uh, so novelists such as Ali Smith and J.M. Kutsaya and Gabriel Josipovici are, are writers who have demonstrated the functioning of literary thinking. And also many of the critics and philosophers and theorists I've chosen are people who have shaped the way that we understand this question most uh, influentially. In many ways we're at a very embattled moment. The universities are very hostile to critical thinking in their current formation. Booksellers and publishers are very risk averse. And this produces quite a narrow range in many ways. But even as uh, these factors and other factors make this a very difficult time, it's also a very exciting time, a time of new possibilities, uh, a transitional time when the very question of how literature talks about the world and helps to shape it is uh, changing.